all of the warm air will just be going out. Australian homes have gaping problems. We scored out of 10, 1.6. Yeah. The this national... isn't golf, right? This <laughs> is bad, right? That's bad. In Victoria, homes built before 1990 average one and a half stars for energy efficiency. Post 1990, just three and a half. A lot of us do literally live in tents. <laughs> Residential energy use accounts for about 20% of all greenhouse gas emissions. That's why Emma Linus put money aside for changes like switching from gas to hydronic heating. A rough quote was $30,000. Yeah, so we won't be doing that. Danielle King makes a living helping Australians reduce their carbon footprint. Demand for our services has spiked up over 450%. She says the costs of certain upgrades turn some off. New top-line heat pumps can cost $20,000, but there are alternatives and rebates for the determined. Victoria now has 13,500 seven-star certified homes, New South Wales nearly 20,000 and Queensland 30,000. But low-cost measures can go a long way. That includes draft-proofing by sealing cracks and gaps, solid drapes and curtains to keep heat out in summer and in in winter, and cleaning heaters since heating can account for 40% of energy bills. Emma Linus is still weighing up her options, but getting to a carbon neutral position remains her top priority. I just think that it would be, it would be great if there could be more incentives for people to do these things and to make their homes more energy efficient. Skandarazak, ABC News, Melbourne.